my chapter 16 homework assignment. Um, so first thing I did was I created a, uh, a string called full name and I've got the console right line asking you to enter your name in uh, this format, first, middle, and last. Uh, then I've got the full name here equaling whatever you write in using the console read line. So whatever you type in gets stored under the full name string right here. Uh, and then I just got the console uh, right line uh, saying, you know, look at the forward slash end there and give me a, a space. And then it's going to say you entered zero, which is this space right here, which is full name, which is calling this string from memory, which is what you inputted here. Okay, so then uh, we were supposed to play around with uh, the dot length, dot lower, dot upper, uh, dot index of, and last index of. Um, and so basically I just had to go in console right line, got these ends in here to make it look like it does in the uh, picture there to give me new lines. And then um, I just got the name you entered is zero, which is full name dot length. And then that'll tell me the length. The dot lower will convert all the uh, letters in the string to a lowercase. This will convert them all to uppercase. This will tell me where the uh, uh, first space is at. So I've got a space right there in quotes. This right here is going to show me where the last space is at. So I got the space there in quotes. And then um, I've just got a console right line here saying, you know, for, saying using a, a loop showing the values for each array element returned from string, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so then I've created uh, this loop here. Well, I've created this loop, but before I created that loop, I created an integer called counter, and I gave that the value of zero. Um, then I created a string array called names, and I said that that string array, the, the length of the string array, or the, the string array is going to be equal to the full name dot split, and then the split is going to look for a space right there. And then I use the single, um, you know, quote mark or whatever. Uh, I'm using a for each loop, and it's saying that uh, it's going to create a string called name uh, in the names string array. And then I'm going to console right line. Uh, I've got the count. It's going to say, you know, array full name element. And then it's going to, right here, this zero is going to correlate with the counter. I got set zero right here, and every time it runs this loop, it's going to add one to the counter so that it'll, you know, it'll number all of my arrays for me. And then here for one, I've got the name, so it's going to display the names in the string array one at a time as it goes through the loop. It'll go through the loop, you know, that many times, the, the many, as many times as there are names, or yeah. Um, and then let's go down to this one here. I got console right line, got space in there. Uh, did a console right line for uh, using the substring against the array element uh, uh, for the initials. Then the initials for zero, which is my full name, so it'll put in whatever the name you entered in in the beginning, are. And then I've got space one, two, three, which is over here using names zero substring, and then I've got it. Uh, basically saying start at space zero and cut everything after space one out of the full name not at the full name but out of name zero which is Tom when I type in it'll be Tom um, and then this is the same thing for my middle name and this is the same thing for my last name so it takes basically the first le uh, letter of uh, each one of those strings and you're just you know zero is your starting point and one is your end point cuts everything else off so that's the uh, substring setup. Then you're doing kind of the same thing down here except using the remove. So I've got almost the exact same thing except for remove. I want it removing everything after um, everything in after space zero. So everything including space one to the end of the, uh, the name array. So name array zero, which will be my first name, it'll remove everything after uh, and including space one, which is actually space 2 because it starts at 0 and does the same thing for the middle and last name. Um, using a loop showing the value for each char array element returned by the string so I just got that you know written in there and uh, I've changed the counter that we had set uh, to 0 and then we start all over here with this loop uh, and we're doing a char uh, or character 
um, array, and I'm going to call that character array letters. It will equal the full name dot to char array. And I've got a for each loop here, so for each letter in letters, so letters being the char array, it's going to go ahead and do a console write line. It's going to put uh, the value of character zero, and character zero will be the counter, so whatever the counter is, that'll start with zero, and then, you know, the plus plus one of the counter, and help me keep track of the characters, is one, which is letters, or letter over here, um, and then it'll just go ahead and do um, each character of the array there, all the way through the loop. Then I've got a console write line, another space here, uh, then I got it writing uh, using a loop uh, zero, which is full name, spelled backwards is, and then I've got this for loop here that I created, uh, where I've got uh, the counter equaling the full name dot length, um, and then and actually I probably could put minus one up there. Maybe I should put one. Well, anyways, um, full length. Then I've got as long as the counter is is greater than zero, go ahead and minus one from the counter, and then it's going to you know every time it runs this loop, it's going to write letters, uh, which is the uh, array that we created up here um, with the counter minus one and that's pretty much the program. So let's go ahead and start this up. Enter your first and middle last name. So -N, oops. So. Alright. So now it says you've entered Tom Wesley Steffi. Uh, the name you entered has 19 characters which is correct if you bothered to count them. Um, and then the name uh, you entered using string.lower is Tom Steffi, so it converted everything to lowercase. Using the dot upper, converted everything to uppercase right there. Index of the first space is located in position three, so zero, one, two, three. Um, index, or last index of position is 11, so if you count, that will be 11. Um, using a loop, using a for loop showing the value for each string array element returned from string dot split gives us this right here so array full name element zero equals Tom element one equals Wesley to step so let's split my name up okay then um, using the substring method against the string array elements in the uh, initials for Tom Wesley's left are TWS so I went ahead and found using the substring that we showed it found the T W that's my initials. Then using the remo uh, the remove, it's the same. Um, using a for loop showing the values for each uh, char array element returned from the string dot char array comes up like this: the value of char array zero through eighteen is Tom Wesley Steffi, and it stored each one of these uh, letters uh, and spaces as a uh, character in the array. Okay, and then using a for loop, Tom Wesley Steffi spelled backwards is Y E F F E T S. Well, there it is. Tom Wesley Steffi spelled backwards. All right, that's it. Everything worked. That was awesome.